The controversial $160 million Oban tunnel designed to ease traffic congestion has been given the official green light. While many commuters welcome the announcement, others question if it's really value for money. Peak hour congestion is only getting worse. And the government plans to dig our way out. People using the Oban service after that will enjoy a four minute improvement in their travel times to and from the city. That'll be possible thanks to a 500 metre tunnel underneath Hackney Road, extending from Rundle Road near East Terrace to Plain Tree Drive. But the big dig comes at a big cost, $160 million over three years. It's the right thing to do for our economy, it's the right thing to do for our transport networks and it's the right thing to do for people who use public transport. Just yesterday, the Infrastructure Minister refused to commit to the project. Well, let's wait to see what Treasurer Kutsantonis uh, brings down on Thursday. It turns out we didn't have to. But after demanding the government honour its election promise, the opposition now questions how it'll be funded. Are we going to see a further significant blowout in the state's debt? I think the question is can we afford not to? The RAA doesn't think so. Given the location of where they are and the issues they've had to deal with, it's probably the only option that's uh, reasonably available. Many commuters aren't so sure. They could put that into something much more worthwhile, like hospitals. It sounds expensive, but it also sounds like a good idea. New hospital in the, yeah. uh, in the Adelaide Oval. Mm. Uh, mm. I think it's time to consolidate for a while. <laughs> Eddie Godfrey joins us live from Hackney Road. And Eddie, when will the work begin? Well, tenders will go out later this year with work to start next year and be finished by late 2017. Now, the government says the project will create around 450 jobs and any companies wanting to bid for the work will have to prove they can do it without causing massive interruptions for traffic. Obviously, being such a busy corridor along here during peak times, Minister Mulligan wants to keep as many lanes open as possible during construction. Back to you. Thanks for the update, Eddie.